Today we're going to take this hamburger and give it a realistic shadow. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make realistic shadows. If you'd like to use the same image as me, I've included a download link in the video description. The first thing we need to do to make a shadow is select the object that we want to make a shadow of. So I'm going to grab the selection brush tool and then paint a selection across this hamburger. Once you have the object selected, we're going to duplicate it twice. To duplicate the object, press Command or Control J. After you've duplicated the object, you can deselect it by pressing Command or Control D. Now we're going to use the Perspective tool to distort this top layer of the hamburger. The Perspective tool is down here at the bottom. You might have the Mesh Warp tool up right now, but just click and hold on that, and then you can select the Perspective tool. With this tool, we're just going to take these two top squares and drag them over here. This is where our shadow is going to be. After you've distorted it, you can press Apply, and then we want to take this distorted layer and drag it underneath this other duplicate layer that we made. Now we're going to add a new pixel layer, so come click on the Add Pixel Layer button down here, and now we're going to make a gradient on this pixel layer. So press G for your gradient tool, and then click and drag a gradient from the top of the hamburger down beneath the bottom of it. We want our shadow to become black though, not just this gray, so with this color selected, I'm going to press on this black circle up here to make the gradient go from white to black. Now that we have the gradient applied to this pixel layer, we want to clip this pixel layer so it's only applied to this hamburger. So I'm going to drag it down and to the right to clip it to that hamburger layer. Then we're going to select this entire group and change its blend mode from normal to multiply. Changing the blend mode to multiply will help the shadow blend in better with the background. Now we're going to add a blur to our shadow so it's not quite so harsh. To add a blur, we're just going to have this layer selected and then click on the FX button and this very first option, Gaussian Blur, check that on and then bring up the radius until it softens the shadow to your liking. You can reposition your shadow if you want by using the Move tool. You can press V to select your Move tool and then move the shadow wherever you want. And if the shadow's a little too strong for you, you can always come over here and lower the opacity. And there you have it. You now know how to apply realistic shadows. Thanks for watching our shadow tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about Affinity Photo, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We come out with a new video every Saturday. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.